With just over two months to go until Smash Ultimate is released, we wonder what Sakurai is going to do for the roster and obviously for the game modes. But right now today, we are just strictly talking about the roster because something came out that I'm sure lots of you guys have heard. So pretty much, the box art for the special edition of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out and it's a really pretty box if you've ever seen it and I'll put it up for you obviously. But on the side of the box, we get something interesting and it's the character roster. But what's interesting is it's only half. And obviously, which means the other half of the roster is probably on the other side. We see two blank spots at the bottom, which everybody is just straight going for, saying that there's only going to be two more characters left. But now, we know that Sakurai has told us um, in the past that there's only going to be a small amount of characters. Don't expect too many. Is this it for Smash Ultimate? Are we only getting two more characters? Now, before I even get into this, I'm going to tell you how I feel, and I think we are absolutely positively going to get more characters than two um i think there's a possibility it could be two characters left but i i, I think we're going to get more than two i could see at least you know a two at least two real fresh characters you know what i mean you know personally original characters um as far as echoes go i really don't know how many echoes are going to be added i don't even know where to begin there but the question is if there's only two characters left, what two characters are those characters going to be? But the, apparently there's been leaks to kind of um, go along inside this. So someone has leaked um, that Incineroar from the Pokemon Gen 7 series, Sun and Moon, um, is going to join the battle. And as the Echo um, character of that announcement, I guess, it's going to be uh, Ken for Ryu. So here's what I think. I think Ryu, Ken is... Uh, not a bad choice as an Echo Fighter. I think it makes sense. Um, but let me kind of tell you where they're getting Ken. Because on the other side, they figured out that the last row of characters is going to match up to Pac-Man, Shulk, uh, Ryu, and someone else I'm not 100% sure right now. Um, but obviously, they could be Miss Pac-Man. It could be, you know, Rex and Pyra. So there's obviously different choices here. And it doesn't have to be a Ryu clone. But I think uh, Ken makes the most sense. But... Incineroar has been rumored for a while now as the Gen 7 recognition for the game, and I think Incineroar would be a good Pokemon uh, addition to the game. But is he a good final character? I don't think so. And I said it's time and time again, for the Smash Ultimate game, this is Smash Ultimate, it's the ultimate version of Smash Bros, and to end this amazing game, you have to reveal a character to put the cap, you need a cap character to close the bottle. Pretty much you need a character that's going to shut it down and say wow he did it and then just walk away now this is not counting dlc because i don't know if dlc characters are going to be added or not but as far as if these are the last two characters this is kind of disappointing and i'm not being nitpicky over the characters themselves or the fact that um everything that sakurai has done but i'm just saying if you end a game i feel like it's best to end it with somebody big and personally when i think of two characters I think instantly Gino and Banjo. I think these two characters had the most representation with the fans and everything. I feel like if there were two characters left and, you know, if Sakurai could only add two more and two more only, uh, whether they be Echoes or regular, I think they'd be regular characters. It would be Gino from Super Mario RPG and Banjo Kazooie, respectively. Um, I think Banjo needs to close it off and Gino needs to open that up. And that's what's so confusing is that they're saying that there's only two characters left, which is very hard to see because, you know, there's at least one more Smash Ultimate event probably coming, a Smash Ultimate Direct, um, probably around October or November. And they normally open the show off with a character and end the show off with a character, and those characters are new characters. Um, and then they throw in, like, two Echoes in the middle. So that's why I'm kind of confused. So I think I don't think these slots really mean anything. And I think people talking about, you know, I think Incineroar could get in, um, but I just think there's a couple of characters that they're missing. And if I opened up, like, the case of characters that are possible, I think there's, like, five. And it's, um, I kind of grouped them together. Banjo and Gino are together as, you know, the big ones to me. Um, and then you could have um, Waddle Dee and Skull Kid. And these two are, you know, characters that people have been, like, hinting at and wanting. Um, so I'd put them in the same category. And then we have Isaac. I just threw Isaac in there at the end because he really doesn't have anybody else to match up to his, you know, popularity. Um, I don't think Isaac's going to happen. I think his time is actually not today. Uh, not this, you know, not this game. But 
you know, um, I'm interested to see what happens. Um, I think, uh, actually, I'm going to put Isaac in there with Incineroar because I think they um, are together with that category. So, I don't know. You know, it, it's kind of frustrating to think that this could be the last two characters. But at the same time, it's kind of hopeful um, that they are two big characters. Obviously, if there are two characters left, we don't know who these characters are. We don't. You know, these leaks, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not, you know, that good. But, yeah. Um, personally, I'm just, Gino and Banjo would do it, I think. I think if you were to end the show, if Sakurai, whenever Sakurai does get down to the final two characters, I think it should be Gino and Banjo. Open it up with Gino, end it with Banjo. I think that's a great way. I think you can look back at this game in the future and say, wow, Sakurai did that. And not really have remorse. I think the only character that you could be like, Sakurai just couldn't get him, is Sora. But, you know, besides that, I think that's besides the point. Um... But yeah, I think DLC is still an option, and we'll talk about that in the future once the game releases and talk about, you know, if that is a possibility, or is Sakurai just done with the game as soon as it comes out. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, like like I was saying before too, these these pictures could obviously be resized and shrunk down uh, to fit more characters. This means nothing. Um, obviously, Nintendo's smart. They're not. They know we were gonna break down this box and. You know, try to decipher how many characters are left. And this is just goes into the whole scheme of uh, Sakurai and his Smash announcements. So, you know, personally, I think Sakurai knows what he's doing. I think he's uh, he's a very smart man. And he's been game developing for years. So, I know he will not end the roster with a Pokemon. Nothing against the Pokemon, like I said. Nothing against Incineroar or Ken. But I'm just saying, it's kind of a lackluster reveal you know to end it you know because I don't, I don't see people jumping up and screaming and going crazy over Incineroar I just feel like people are gonna be like oh Incineroar that's cool you know and same with like same with Isabel I don't think anybody was really you know losing their mind over Isabel um but uh besides those people at New, the New York City store oh my goodness but um they lose their mind over anything it could be an RC car for Smash and they would go crazy but that's just Nintendo fans for you they're always so hype um but yeah, I just think, I think Gino and Banjo are going to be those two final characters. Um, we'll see. I, just, I also think there's a lot of more, a lot more echoes coming. I, I could definitely see at least four or five more echoes, believe it or not. I know that sounds crazy, um, but there are at least three or four more because you know there's just so many characters that have you know potential echoes that would work so great. Like like I said, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, uh, Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong. Um, there's just so many good ones, and I think. Nintendo really wants to hit some of those, and they realize what people want. And I think for people to really clamor over Echo Fighters and really want Echo Fighters, I think it's, it says a lot um, to Nintendo to get those Echo Fighters in there. Because not too many people are asking for Echo Fighters. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but guys, take this with a grain of salt. Take this leak, this rumor with a grain of salt. I don't believe this to be true. Um, I can't believe it to be true. If there is only two characters left, I do not think it's Incineroar and Ken. Um, but either way, even if there is two characters left, I think we will truly not know the exact number of characters until we get the confirmation whether or not there will be DLC for Smash Ultimate, because right now we don't know. We don't know what Sakurai's plans is after the game, and, um, I could see them doing DLC, though. I feel like this is going to be a platform, this is going to be one of the bigger games for Nintendo, obviously, one of the biggest games, and I want the, I, I expect them to want to carry this on the whole Switch cycle and, um, beyond, probably, so... Um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see as those last two characters. Are you guys happy if it's Incineroar and Ken? Uh, would you guys expect two other characters? Is Gino and Banjo big enough for you to say congrats to Sakurai? I mean, we already have to give him our thanks because he's just, he's just going crazy. But is Gino and Banjo big enough for you? Because I, I don't have a huge background on those two characters. I've I played Banjo Kazooie and I've played Mario RPG a little bit. Haven't even got to the Banjo, uh, the Gino part, but I recognize when people want a character and people want Gino and they've been wanting him for a while. And I recognize people wanting Banjo and I can see why and I understand that one just as much. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in and this Nintendo news feed and I will get to you guys soon with another video. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time. See you guys.